Today, we're off to Denver. Let's go. All right, here's the plan. We'll depart Prescott and fly to Denver, where we'll spend some time at the United Lounge before departing for London, arriving around 9.40 the next morning. What I really like about airports this small is how fast you can get through check-in, security, and then get to your gate. Here, there's only one flight in and out at a time, and this one goes to Denver. So now, let's go to Denver. Boarding began right on time around 8.30. Here in Prescott, you won't use a jet bridge to board the aircraft, but you'll use air stairs instead. Now, let's get on to Denver. Alright, so we just boarded for Denver. Now, something that you're commonly going to find on aircraft this small is how tight it is. As you can see, I have basically no shoulder room between me and the wall of the aircraft. Now, thankfully this is a pretty short flight, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. We departed right on time. Let's go to Denver. After a fairly smooth flight on an aircraft I don't particularly enjoy flying on, we touched down in Denver, right on time. However, our gate was unfortunately full, so we did have to wait a few minutes for it to open up, but that was just fine, because our connection time was nearly six hours. Alright, first flight complete, welcome to Denver. I actually really like this airport because it's incredibly easy to navigate, especially for connections. However, if this is your starting destination, TSA can tend to be a little little tricky, but if you have TSA pre-check, it's usually not that bad. Unfortunately, I don't have pre-check, but this is usually never my starting destination. Now, time to find our next gate. After meandering around the airport a bit, it was time to head up to the United Club to kill some time before we departed for London. We chose the one in Terminal A since it was quieter and closer to our departure gate, and I'm glad we did because it was very quiet, almost empty. The food was amazing and offered a wide variety of choices. I chose some pasta and chicken, and it was very filling. I even went back for multiple servings. After spending a few hours there, it was time to head to London. Alright, flight to Denver, check. Lounge visit, check. Let's go to London. And there it was, the nearly 10-year-old 787-9 that would be taking us to London. Boarding began on time, out of gate Alpha 31, and finally it was time to head to London. Once on board, I made my way down the aisle to the Economy Plus section and got seated in seat 30F. All right, we're just boarding United 27 over to Heathrow. This seat is really nice. It's got a ton of legroom since we're booked into the uh, first row here in Economy Plus. Highly recommend that if you can get a hold of it. It's got ample legroom. It's probably got more legroom than premium does, honestly. Got a nice uh, overwing, overwing view here. Just went and talked to the flight crew. Super nice crew here. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good flight out to Heathrow. We should be pushing back here in about 20 or so minutes. And then after that, it'll be about nine to nine and a half hours over to Heathrow. I'll see you in the air. We pushed back from the gate about 30 minutes late due to some last minute cargo that needed to be loaded onto the aircraft. But once that was complete, it was time to go. About 45 minutes into the flight, and dinner was finally served. Alright, we're about an hour and a half into the flight to London. Uh, the flight was just finishing dinner service tonight. I went with an apple or salad as a starter. For the entree, I decided to the four cheese tortilla with some mushroom alfredo and peas, and then some milk for uh, chocolate chip cookies for dessert. All in all, it was really good. I think the tortilla we could have done without the peas, but all in all, it was all super tasty, super filling, solid 8 out of 10. 
flight, I mainly used the in-flight map and the large selection of movies. And let's just say, there was not a small selection of movies to choose from. In fact, there were times where I had trouble choosing from movies. There were so many of them that I really wanted to watch. I finally settled on a few of them, which did get me through the flight. But there were so many more of them that I wanted to watch, but didn't have time. Alright, well, uh, good morning, everybody. Still got about an hour and a half left on the flight, but I was actually able to get some sleep for once, which never happens on airplanes for me. But I'll take every bit of sleep I can get. Like I said, we've still got about an hour and a half left on the flight. It's been incredibly smooth so far, and I've had absolutely zero complaints. But yeah, I'll update you guys know, when breakfast comes around. About an hour and a half prior to landing, the cabin lights were brightened, and breakfast was served. And before we knew it, breakfast was done and we started our initial descent into a pretty rainy London Heathrow. And finally, after nearly 9 hours of flight time, we touched down in London, around 20 minutes early in fact. We had a pretty quick taxi to the gate, and apologies for this next camera angle here, had some technical difficulties when recording. Alright, a little over 9 hours later, welcome to London Heathrow. I was looking on the United app before we landed, and it looks like we've got a pretty long walk to get to the customs area. So I'm going to time it, see how long it really is. All right, in total, that was about maybe 10 or 15 minutes or so to uh, get to the customs area. All in all, the trip went really well. Um, super smooth flight crossing over the Atlantic. Service was great. In-flight entertainment was great. All in all, I rate this entire trip 9 out of 10. The only thing they could have done better, I think, was the breakfast uh, before we landed in Heathrow. But all, honestly, you get what you pay for. But it's a, it was a great flight. All Both flights were great. Everything today was great. But until the next time, uh, stay tuned to, for the next video. I don't know when that's going to be. Uh, but until the next time, keep looking sky high.